Decent fish here, guys. All right, what's up, guys? So, back out here on my favorite little uh, tree in the water here, and I've got myself a nice light action rod with a, uh, let's see here, I believe it's a, uh, probably a eighth ounce jig head with a little Bobby Garland. I believe that's a blue ice on there. Got some slab sauce on it and I have my cooler with me and I'm gonna try to keep some crappies today. I've got a new recipe I'd like to try out. So uh, come along for the ride. Let's see if we can catch something. See how my drag is, really loose. This drag tightened up. Uh, the rod's rod here is a Fluger Tryon, what is it? Five foot six, light action, 48 pound line. With the Fluger reel on there. I believe it's six pound line I have on this, which is pretty heavy, but we'll see what we can do. We're we'll getting snaggled right away. So I'm uh, pretty good at that. The weather has been really weird here. We've had 90s and now today it is uh, 50 degrees right now. As you guys could see in the intro, I have a stocking cap on. So these changes in the weather might have pushed the fish out into a different location, but I caught him here a few days ago. So I'm gonna try again. Got a leaf on there. Oh, just some grass, I guess. There we go. Crappie number one. Let's try not to lose these guys today. Awesome sauce. Well, bud, you're going in the bucket. Well, not a bad fish. It's a little small, but I'm still keeping him. Don't need too many for what I'm trying to do today, but I'll keep a few. Try out this new recipe. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. There we go. That was fairly undramatic. That's a good crappie. Bam. <gasps> Bam. In the bucket you go. Four. Four crappies. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, there we go. It's about every cast. Right in the same spot. And there goes the train starting to move again, I think. You're screwing with my audio. My incredibly crappy audio train. All right. One, two, three, four, five. I'll get a couple more. I'm gonna try to get it a little farther out than I've been. Sink a little bit. Start slow rolling it in. Pause here and there. A lot of times, just like that, they hit it on the pause. Another fatty. Bam. Right in his top of his lip. And these hooks are good. There we go, got him out. I think that's number nine. Limit here is 
15, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. go bam crappie number 12 uh, 12 uh, all right dude dude bro bro dude come on let me just uh put you in the ice bath over here trace moss peoples to do this bam 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 there is number 14 and he's a good one yeah Decent fish here, guys. All right, we need one more. One more for our one man limit. There we go, there we go, there we go. And we've got our limit. Bam. That last one took a minute. Here we are. Got our limit of crappie. We've only been out here for about an hour. So that's pretty awesome. And let's get them home and clean them up, I guess. I'm not gonna show you guys that, but I'll get back to you when I'm cooking my food. All right, guys. So we've got all our crappies chopped up. I've got our ingredients ready here and I've got everything already measured out. Um, this here is breadcrumbs. We've got some Old Bay seasoning and we have some ground mustard. Uh, and here we've got some red bell peppers and onions. And then we're gonna put a dash of Worcestershire tire sauce in there. A couple of eggs and some mayo. I'm gonna get this all mixed together in a large bowl and then you form them into patties and you fry them up. So I'll see you guys as soon as I get this mixed together. As you guys can see, I'm not at my house, I'm out at the family farm. So we're gonna get the olive oil and butter in the pan, get that heated up. We'll be uh, putting these into little patties and we're gonna cook them up and see how they taste. Hopefully they're good. All right, so I've got four patties made here. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, so let's hope this turns out. We've got our butter. Looks like it's burning a little bit. Yeah, because I've never cooked with gas. So this might turn out <laughs> terrible, but we'll see here. They smell good and they're not even cooked yet, so. A little worried they're gonna fall apart. Now we're cooking. Now the recipe says, uh, what is it, seven to nine minutes each side. I don't know, I feel like maybe we've got a little bit more butter in there than we need, but we're gonna give it a send, so. We'll, uh, we'll come back when we get these flipped over and ready to go.
hopefully they're done in the middle. I guess we'll find out for the next round here. They are definitely oily. I could have put them on a piece of paper towel or something. They're hot on my hand for sure. Making a mess. All right, we're gonna let these cool down for a couple minutes and then we'll do a taste test. Fine china here. <laughs> so we're here with Kevin. Kevin uh, is a friend of ours from uh, California. He's here for the for the weekend. So he's gonna be our official taste tester since I haven't had anybody on the channel taste testing anything. So we'll see if it's any good. All right, here we go. Is it? All right. All right. Let's see. Give it a try. Crap. I'm gonna keep digging in. Yeah. Smells good. Yeah. It's good. It's good. That's great. Well, there you have it. Crappy patties are pretty good. It's a win. <laughs> so, uh, stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit. Crappy patties. Thank you.